Yo, 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 what's good, man? Fight fans, it's your boy JB Trap House Boxing. I'm back here with another video. Shout out to the LDBC, man. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share the video always, and leave your thoughts and comments at the end of the video. And if you're looking for that exclusive street news, go subscribe to Urban Media Fix. Hit that notification icon bell so you don't miss that, that heat that Urban Media Fix drop. And every Wednesday night, the LDBC will be uh, getting together, doing our a live stream from the Smoke City Live Smoke City Mobcast. So make sure you subscribe to the Smoke City Mobcast. Hit that notification icon bell so you don't miss this heat we drop at every Wednesday, nine o'clock PM Eastern time. Okay, so we got us another post fight review, man. We got the Donny uh Nietes, uh versus uh Juan Carlos Rivecco post fight review. And uh <clears throat> It was a pretty good. It was a, it was a real good fight, actually, man. Uh, I thought that I thought that Nietes really took charge of the fight from the from the giddy up. I thought that uh, Nietes was uh, the aggressor and he was the more accurate puncher. You know, it was some good exchanges going on throughout the fight, though. And uh, Nietes was was the more cleaner, getting the more cleaner shots off in. Uh, you know, but Revco was 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 landing some good shots too as the rounds was progressing. Like when the third, fourth round started warming up, he had started coming along a little, little strong. The, you know, I felt that the the tide was changing just a little bit. But you know, uh, Nietzsche was showing good defense though. He was uh, early on, especially early on. <clears throat> but that didn't. Uh, that didn't stop that right hand from coming and hurting, hurting um, Revevko, you know. They got into a little exchange. I think it was in the uh, sixth round. Yeah, it was in the sixth round. And uh, they got into a little exchange. So, Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's call. <clears throat> Sorry. Called Revevko with a right hand, a straight right hand at the at the end of the the sixth round, and knocked him in the next week. You know what I mean? And Revevko can't even uh, find the corner. He went to the you know to like down to the middle of the ropes, and his his corner man had to uh, come get him and get him in the corner because he was shook. You know, I mean he he, he got hit with that with that knife stick. But both of these guys are uh, older fighters. They're both 34 and 35 years old. So, you know, I don't know if uh, if have Coach down or not. <clears throat> I know that just revived me. He was a, he's a champion anyway. But, uh, yeah, man, that's that was a, a good little, little bout. But he shook him in the next week. And uh, Revelco came back out, man, but he still wasn't right. You know, he was he was still he was still tickled. And uh man, he I seen him in his legs when he came out of the corner, man, his legs his legs had the uh you know, had the uh the noodles, the the the, the, the stanky leg going on. And it was just a matter of time, so and he had just jumped on him. Just got him out of there, man. You know, did what he had to do. You know, so congratulations to Nietzsche, but it was a, a good bout. See what's next for Nietzsche. This is where Jimmy Trap House Boxing. I'm gonna subscribe.